The fire that destroyed a large section of Fifth Third Ballpark in Kent County today is being blamed on a space heater. Seven and Four's Jamie Innes joins us live in the studio with the details. Jamie, what exactly is being said about this fire? Mark, our sister station, Wood TV in Grand Rapids, has been on scene all day. The Plainfield Township Fire Chief told them ballpark staff had been working in the suites that morning when a space heater caught fire. They thought they had put that fire out, but later on it was clear the fire had started back up. Crews were called to the park around 11 o'clock this morning. Smoke and flames could be seen from miles away. After about a half hour of battling the flames from inside, firefighters were called away from the building. Then the roof on the skyboxes collapsed along the first base side. At least 11 suites are said to be destroyed. The building's sprinkler system was not working properly. The fire chief says the response to the fire was slowed by a lack of fire hydrants near the park. Crews had to extend hoses to other hydrants, creating low water pressure. Start in one of the suites, um, spread into the attic area, and once it gets in the attic, it uh, um, tends to move pretty fast because it has a lot of oxygen and there aren't a lot of uh, fire breaks. About 30 people were working in the stadium when the fire broke out. They were all able to get out safely. No injuries were reported. The Whitecaps co-founder says they plan to rebuild in time to get the bats cracking opening day, April 8th. For those of us who grew up going to baseball games there, that's good news. Mark? Fifth Third is home to the West Michigan Whitecaps, the single A affiliate of the Tigers. The ballpark is scheduled to host the Midwest League All-Star Game in June.